Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, is rapidly progressive and affects around 20,000 to 30,000 people in the United States alone. 5,000 people each year are diagnosed, and it occurs at random with no clearly associated risk factors. ALS is one of the most common neuromuscular diseases worldwide, with symptoms including twitching, cramping, stiffness of muscles, and deterioration of muscles. This is caused from the loss of motor neurons. Both upper motor neurons, the nerve cells reaching from the brain to the spinal cord, and lower motor neurons, nerve cells from the spinal cord to the peripheral nerves that control muscle movement, are affected in ALS. Eventually, this disease affects the muscles of the respiratory system, and a ventilator is needed. A ventilator can help, but most people with ALS die from respiratory failure. Only 50% of people with ALS live over 3 years after diagnosis, and only 10% of people live more than 10 years after diagnosis, according to the National Institute of Health in 2009. People with ALS have a mutant SOD1 gene that leads to the destruction of neurons around the spinal cord, which controls muscle movement. The normal SOD1 gene produces the enzyme superoxide dismutase, which helps break down potentially harmful oxygen molecules in cells. This may prevent damage to muscle tissue. Mutations in the SOD1 protein lead to organisms developing progressive motor neuron degeneration, which leads to ALS. Some other possible causes of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis are gene mutations, chemical imbalances, or a disorganized immune response. High levels of glutamate around the nerve cell in the spinal fluid is a chemical imbalance. Researchers have stated that nerve cell death in ALS may be caused by a problem known as glutamate overproduction. Glutamate, also known as monosodium glutamate, or MSG, is a small chemical found in the central nervous system that serves as a messenger to bridge the synaptic cleft between two neurons. It is produced by the fermentation of starch, sugar, sugar cane, or molasses, and is also an extract from seaweed. In this figure, we see normal glutamate regulation compared to glutamate excedotoxicity. Normally, when nerve cells signal to one another, glutamate is released from one nerve cell ending into the synaptic cleft. Receptors on the second nerve cell ending bind to the glutamate and excite the second nerve cell. Extra glutamate is soaked up by astrocytes through glutamate transporters. However, in SOD1-linked ALS, researchers suspect that the mutant SOD1 protein generates free radicals that in turn inactivate the glutamate transporters on the astrocytes. Glutamate collects in the synaptic cleft, and the second nerve cell becomes harmfully overexcited. This is known as glutamate excedotoxicity. Glutamate overproduction can also occur when the neurons are exposed to glutamate in too large quantities and become overstimulated. This overstimulation can lead to a chain reaction of events that are destructive to nerve cells, resulting in the paralysis that occurs in ALS. Martin in 2006 studied decreased glutamate transport by the brain and spinal cord in ALS. This figure shows a graph representing the velocity of how fast glutamate was transported in mice with ALS. The gray bars represent the wild-type mice, and the black bars represent the mice with the SOD1 mutation. The wild-type mice exhibited a faster transportation of glutamate with no treatment than with 60 micromolars of minosodium glutamate. The ALS mice exhibited a slower transportation of glutamate in general, with the slowest transportation shown with the addition of excess glutamate. Only one treatment is FDA-approved for ALS, Rylozol, also known as Rylotec. It is believed to reduce damage to motor neurons by decreasing the release of glutamate. It also prolongs survival by several months and extends the time before a patient needs ventilation support. In Meininger's study, Rylozole decreased mortality and slowed the muscle deterioration in ALS patients. The antioxidant vitamin E has been found to delay the onset of symptoms in mice with ALS. In 2011, O'Reilly's study found that the mice with the SOD1 mutation showed that with the prolonged use of vitamin E supplements, their symptoms were significantly delayed. Another treatment recently used in many studies has been L-DOPA. It is produced from the amino acid L-tyrosine and it is used to increase dopamine concentrations. Mina in 1997 performed a study with wild-type mice and mice with the SOD1 mutation. Mina also used the treatment of L-DOPA and studied its effects on the longevity, Th-positive neurons, and the overall well-being of the mice. L-DOPA at 50 micromolars increased the amount of Th-positive neurons in the ALS mice. However, no treatment can reverse damage already done to motor neurons. C. elegans are transparent nematodes used in research for molecular and developmental biology. 
They have a life cycle of about two to three weeks, which is an ideal lifespan for studies in our lab. The C. elegans with the wild type SOD1 protein have no significant difference with normal N2 type worms. However, the C. elegans with the mutated SOD1 protein, strain AM725, exhibit ALS-like symptoms. They move erratically and much more slowly than N2 worms or the worms with the wild type SOD1 protein.